everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cineblock Studios, and I'm back with more tips for the intermediate artist. Today we're going to be taking a look at painting on a flat surface versus painting on an easel. Now when deciding whether to paint on a table or on an easel, you might want to take a look at a few factors. First, what's comfortable for you? Second, how big is the piece? And third, how much of a mess do you really want to make? Now personally, I like to paint right on a table, something that's raised up a little bit that I can get a little more detail while standing over, as well as get the support both for my arms and for generally where my body is positioned. Painting on an easel, however, is a great way to lift the piece up off of your work surface, give you a lot more area around the piece to put palettes and water and paints, and can be much easier when you're sitting down. For this reason, most people that sit when they paint will use an easel. Keep in mind, however, that if you're going to be using a large canvas on an easel, it's important to have either an A-frame or an H-frame easel, especially when the canvas goes out and beyond. At that point, it's going to wiggle a little bit and not be quite as supportive. Both easel painting and table painting, or even floor painting, both have their advantages and disadvantages, but it's important to remember to try both of them to see what works for you. Keep in mind though, when working on adjusted support, when you flick the brush to the edge of the canvas or whatever you happen to be working on, that paint is going to flick off in different places. The question is, where do you want that paint to go? If you're working on a table, that paint will most likely go right to the table. If you're working on an easel next to a wall, that paint will probably go on the wall. And if you're working on the floor, the paint's going to dissipate like a table to the edges onto the floor. For this reason, it's really important to keep conscious of where you're painting and what you're painting around, especially if you're in a very tight enclosed space. While well, I didn't exactly tell you which one to use in this video, I hope either table or easel you find something that works for you. But if you do want a suggestion, if you're someone like me who moves around a lot more when they paint and really kind of gets up and down and jumps up and down really excited when they paint, you might want to stand and you might want to work on a table. And as always, for more tips, tutorials, and other art videos, subscribe to the channel. This has been from DMC Films and Cineblock Studios. See you guys next time.